All right. Um, welcome to the Desmos activity for circles. How are you feeling today? I told my other class, feeling a little stressed. Got a lot to do, and I didn't want to do a remote day today. So I'm taking this video and actually putting it into two parts. First part is circles. The second part is the ellipses. So you can look right here, and I'm going to go through these first couple pretty quickly. Um, how does R affect it? Well, that's your radius. It makes it larger or smaller. Notice that that's an R squared there. So what does R represent? The radius. H. Well, H represents the uh, X coordinate of your center. X represents the X or H represents the X coordinate of your center. And then there's K. That moves it up and down. Look at that. K is your Y coordinate of your center. And this one was already solved for you. I made a mistake when I saved this. I saved it after I had solved it because your challenge was going to be to put all the orange dots inside the circle and the black ones on the outside. That's okay because if you look at right here, you got H equals 4, K equals negative 4, R equals 6. I think in the next slide you get to answer a couple of questions about that. Um, what is the center of your circle? 4, negative 4. What is the how do the H and K relate? No. X coordinate is H, Y coordinate is K, my radius is 6. Um, and then I went ahead and I wrote the equation. If you want to get math type, that little square root sign. So this kind of sums it up right here. The standard equation of a circle. Its center is going to be H and K, and it's going to have a radius of R. And we're going to pretty much give it to you in this form. Um, it can get a little bit ugly if you FOIL everything out, um, and we're not going to do that. Um, we've got limited time this year, so don't worry about working about it in different forms. It's just going to be in the circle form. If you ended up with x squared plus y squared equals r squared, your center is at 0, 0. So, identify the center of this circle. Well, if you drew two diameters, the center is going to be where they intersect, which in this case is right 1, down 4, and your radius is 4. So some people might put 4 squared. I went ahead and wrote 16. On this one, on number 12, uh, identify the center. My H is 7. Be careful of your signs there. It's always going to be the opposite sign because what you're technically doing is taking that set of parentheses, setting it equal to 0, and solving. And your Y, it's going to be negative 5. So H is 7, K is negative 5. That's my center. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is with their radius. The radius here is going to be 2 because R squared is 4. So we want to write an equation um, that matches up. I've already done this because you get a circle that's kind of in the over here to the side, and you have to figure out the center and um, match it up with the red one. So your radius should be 3, your K is negative 1, and your H is 4. If I were to write that as an equation, there it is, X minus 4 quantity squared plus Y, y plus 1 quantity squared equals 9. And just to make sure that everybody is writing them correctly, you had to graph it one more time. And a lot of people forget little things like that little square. Or actually both places. 
and that just throws things off, okay? So be careful not to forget your square, because look at that, all of a sudden if you forget your square, you end up with a line. You don't want a line. Um, this is a redundant slide, I think in notes we actually skipped that. Here, I want to write the equation of a circle that has a center of negative 2, 1. So my h is negative 2, my k is 1. Some people wrote x minus negative 2. That's technically right, it's just kind of weird, so put x plus 2. And again, you can put 3 squared or you can put 9. All right, this is just some extra information, um, kind of an extra example that if you want to see it, write the equation of a circle from a graph, from the um, given some information. Same thing here. Here they give you um, the formula and they say graph it. What you would do is you start with the center, put a dot, and your radius is 2, so you go up 2, down 2 right to, left to, and then do the best you can with the circle, drawing a circle. Um, I always have a hard time doing that. Uh, as I was telling my class when we did this in notes, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time focused on the graphing I have in the past, but you've got a graph sweeten application available to you. Utilize it. All right. Hope everybody enjoyed.